that the uh, next PCC se season is uh, about to get underway. Uh, we're here for the first day of Media Day, and it was a, a spectacular launch with you uh, being reunited with one of your old cars. Well, yeah, we got Halfords back in the, in the in the pack, and uh, we're very excited about that. You know, it's as drivers we all want to be. I, I mean, uh, arguably the Honda is the best team in the paddock. You know, and I I will vouch for that. And um, you know, with with Halfords and Uasa, we've got two of the best sponsors and the biggest, highest profile names. So it's a perfect marriage. I just hope we can do some justice this year. And now with Halfords, of course, being back, that's a great moment for you because you, Halfords won the side of the car when you had that amazing feat of getting back-to-back -back titles. And, of course, you won your third one uh, with, with Uasa. So you have happy members with both sponsors. Yeah, I mean, as I say, the, the championship's tough, though, at the moment. It's close, you know, just borne out with the times today and the media day. So there's going to be people, I know we've, a Honda drivers won the championship four out of the last five years, four times out of the last five years, so... We are going around with big targets on our backs, I know that, but I don't mind that. That's part of the territory and bring it on. Now, uh, it's quite a race for Halfords and Uasa to be back in the championship, of course. The first time ever we're going to have 32 cars going around Brands Hatch Indy. Qualifying is going to be mayhem, so too are both of the all three of the races. So uh, what, what are you expecting? Stress, probably, in qualifying. It is going to be you know, stressfully close, as it was the back end of 2015, really. I was, we were hoping with these new components and new regulations coming out, that it was going to string it out a bit, but it doesn't seem to have done any. You know, it, it's still very tight at the top. Some of the, you know, there's been a lot of engine changes and, and packages over the, over the winter, and some are fared better than others. And, you know, it's surprising how well some are going when we didn't think they would, they'd be there. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be, I think we've got to have some new faces in the mix, some old faces in the mix, hopefully still. So it, it's all to play for. Now, one of the uh, major changes over winter was the fact that now everyone's running RML uh, parts. What have you been able to have much testing with them? What What's the sort of impact of, of that on the car? Uh, we've done a bit. We, so what we've been working on a lot today was uh, working with the RML guys, um, just back to backing some of the com components. Um, and we've had a really positive test. So th there's been a few teething problems with some of the teams, um, but I think they're, you know, they're being very proactive and we're getting on top of it. And finally, uh, finally, I know you'll have a, a lot of experience about this, but have you hadn't had any worries of uh, that f that feeling of, of just before race one starts as the uh, start of the first season? Lewis, you can do your best and, you know, the rest of fate will take care of itself. You know, I, I, I don't even look or watch what the others are doing up and down the paddock. You, some people might as a reference, but you just got to make the back package you've got into the best it is. And then, um, yeah, fate will take care of the rest. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Martin. Very good luck for the season ahead. Thanks, mate.